This voltage regulator can be used to produce a very stable voltage output with very low ripple under varying load. By the help of Zener diode, we can easily stabilize the output voltage of the load. Then how does Zener diode works? In this video, we will venture into the heart of Zener diode. We will know its basic structure, basic operation, basic application as a voltage regulator, how to test Zener diode, and what is on the datasheet. But before that, kindly subscribe this channel, like our Facebook page at Wired Wisdom Engineering. We can remember from our previous tutorials that the DC output voltage from half or full wave rectifiers contains ripples which are superimposed onto the DC changes. By connecting a simple Zener stabilizer circuit as shown, across the output of the rectifier, a more stable output voltage can be produced. First, let's simulate this project inside the ProQ software. We have full wave bridge rectifier. We have AC current source. We have an RC circuit. We have AC voltmeter and DC voltmeter. We have LED lights at the input and also another LED at the output. The AC current source produce a voltage of about 120V at 60Hz frequency. The pure DC signal of about 6V is produced. The LED light at the input blinks severally since it receives an alternating current, while the LED light is not blinking since it receives the direct current. But the output DC voltage has much ripples since the DC voltmeter displays a voltage whose values are fluctuating. When we add a Zener diode with a capacitor of certain values, the voltage output would be stable at about 5V. Zener diode works similarly to a normal PN junction diode when in forward biased. That is, it conducts current. But when the Zener diode is reversed biased, it works on the principle of Zener effect. But first, let's review how a diode works, precisely a PN junction diode. When impurities such as boron and phosphorus is added to a semiconductor, such as silicon or germanium through doping, for the case of doping with boron, we will form a semiconductor which lack electrons, considered as p-type semiconductor. And also for the doping with phosphorus, we will have semiconductor with excess electrons, considered as n-type semiconductor. When we combine these two type doped p and n materials, we form a p-n junction. At the p-n junction, the electrons and holes recombine forming a depletion region with a slightly positive and a slightly negative charges. These charges create electric field which prevent crossing the depletion region further. Under no voltage or unbiased of the p-n junction, the p-n junction does not allow the electric current flow. If assume we provide the an external electric field across the p-n junction, large number of electrons will flow across the depletion region and the electrons can easily recombine with the holes. But the only thing to provide the external electric field is battery. Battery provide electrons in reverse of the flow of conventional current. When the diode is forward biased, it means the positive terminal of the battery will be connected to the p-type side of the semiconductor and negative battery side to the n-type side of the diode. Since there is electric field, the electrons easily flow across the junction. The p-n junction will conduct current easily when an average of about 0.3 volts for germanium is met and 0.7 volts for silicon is met. When reverse voltage is applied to the p-n junction diode, it does not conduct due to the direction of the electric field formed at the junction, preventing electrons and holes flowing across the device. The depletion region increases, but when the voltage applied is increased, there is multiple collisions, which produce heat when incoming electrons knocks off the electrons. The multiple collisions causes the current flow to be termed as reverse leakage current. Instead of behaving like an insulator, the p-n junction diode starts conducting in the reverse biased mode. 
The voltage of the semiconductor devices beyond which they start conducting is known as breakdown voltage. Since the PN junction semiconductor is lightly doped and therefore at high values or continuous supply of reverse current, the PN diode is out of burning due to heating from colliding electrons, hence only suitable for forward current flow. On the other hand, Zener diode is heavily doped. It creates a narrower depletion region compared to the normal PN junction diode. The length of the depletion region of the Zener diode DL is narrower enough to offer low resistance in Zener diodes. The maximum voltage beyond which the Zener diode starts conducting in the reverse bias condition is known as Zener voltage. Below the Zener voltage, the Zener diode is off. The Zener diode turns on above the Zener voltage. The current increased drastically for the Zener voltage in the reverse biased operation. The collision probability becomes much lesser due to the narrow width of depletion region. Testing of the Zener diode. Get your multimeter. Zener diode's anode connected to positive lead of the multimeter. Zener diode's cathode connected to negative lead of the multimeter. Set the multimeter to diode. Reading should display 0.5 volts to 0.7 volts. Reverse the leads. Reading should be 0L. The datasheet of the Zener diode should contain Zener or breakdown voltage. Here, the Zener or the reverse breakdown voltage ranges from 2.4 to 200V. Sometimes it can go up to 1KV. Another thing on the datasheet is current IZ max. It is the maximum current at the rated Zener voltage, usually 200 microamperes to 200 amperes. Current IZ minimum. It is the value of current required for the diode to conduct or break down. Power rating also must be considered as it denotes the maximum power the Zener diode can dissipate. It is given by the product of the voltage of the diode and current flowing through it. In the datasheet, temperature stability must be considered. Voltage tolerance must be considered, and it's typically positive or negative 5. Lastly, Zener resistance RZ. You will find in datasheet of the manufacturer. Application areas of the Zener diode include Voltage regulator. Here the Zener diode is connected parallel to the load to make it reversed bias. And once the Zener diode exceeds knee voltage, the voltage across the load will become constant. Zener diodes can also be used for overvoltage protection and clipping circuits. Did you found this video useful? Tell me in the comment. Subscribe this channel. If you don't want to miss amazing electrical and electronics projects we can produce with Zener Diode and many more explainer videos, kindly subscribe this channel, like and share. Like our Facebook page for more update link in the first comment. Thank you and see you in the next one.